hello guys so in this video i will show you how to use zero the apis for free revise http method for proceeding if you don't remember just revise get post put bash lead which will be used in this video so as you can see we have charges of 2000 per month for apis and 2000 per month for historical data so actually we don't need to pay anything to use apis if you follow this so this code is in java so first let us test this code just to show that it actually works then i will explain later how it works So I've logged in using our code. Okay, so there is some issue with Mac. It goes to the back. So you can see that orders are being placed continuously because we are doing so from our background thread. So the algo is able to place the order successfully, but they are getting rejected because I don't have funds in this account. I don't trade with this account. This account is just for testing. So you can see that so many orders have been placed. So this shows that this method is working correctly. Okay, so now let's come back to how it works. So I've logged in into Zeroda and I'm using Firefox. I will show you network calls, what calls are being made. So if you want to buy this one, let's let me show the code. Uh, let me show the part which I did in the code. So I am placing a limit order for this quantity and let me press on buy. So it is showing me error right now because the market is not open right now. So let me show what we need to check for adding more APIs here. So you can see this is the URL for placing the order. We just need the request header that is called authorization. And in the request, we need variety, exchange, trading symbol, transaction type, order type, quantity, price, product, validity, disclose quantity, trigger price, square off, stop loss, trailing stop loss user id now let me go to the code so you can see from variety to user id variety to user id i have placed everything in my code and how i'm getting the authorization header so let me explain how i'm getting the authorization header i'm loading the kite.zerota.com in a web view then initiating the login flow and parsing the document return and the cookies and getting the encryption token that is the authorization header so let me show again how this code works i'm going to run this code this time now so let me add a debug point here a debug point here start Can so it, uh, you can see it is loading the web view. Next part. Now it will keep on parsing these cookies. So I am removing the debug point because it will, it will keep on doing it till it finds something. So I'm going back to this window, which was created by this code. And this will keep on trying to find stuff.
so by now it would have found something and added that in the token so when i log in into the code whatever code i have written the header returned back from zero the is used in all the apis so i stored it here in the token part this code link i will share in the github and you can add more apis like this for placing for doing your stuff so this is just one api example now let me add one more api in real time uh, just for showing how to do it because this was already done beforehand so i'm adding one more method to get my holdings so i need to add a get api here with this url so i'm copying the url just need this header nothing else and the request there is nothing in the request so in the request header headers only authorization header header is important nothing else is needed so in the response you can see there is no data because I have no orders so let me show the code now so I have added one get method here I don't need this part. This I copied from this other, some of my other algos. Passing the headers. Now let me run this code. I will add a debug point here just to show that I have some code and data running. So instead of this, I am saying get holdings this time in the code. Now I will run this code again and what this code, code does is it creates a browser in JavaFX and takes over the zero the login flow and stores all the authorization headers that are returned back. So there is some issue with the Mac after the update the window goes in the background. Now you can see that in the main flow I added this code and you can see the data status is success there is no data returned in my positions so this API works as seen in the browser response in the response I have data similarly you can do any other API as you need you can get holding position order place the orders get your current order status get profile get funds we want to do so thanks everyone for watching please let me know if you want any further explanation on this thanks